Good morning, folks. We've got eye candy, cosmology, and pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals to discuss today. But first, we'll do a rundown of space weather, starting with our star. We find a much quieter day. Solar wind and geomagnetic activity is calmer as well. And while we have several plasma filaments, none have erupted towards Earth. The solar flaring has dropped down to a very quiet level that belies the sunspot situation. There are several groups visible, but all taking a nap at the moment not the worst thing in the world. And so our eyes remain focused on these plasma filaments on the southern hemisphere. They have size and even slight instability, but have remained firmly rooted in the corona the last 24 hours. So let's go to some eye candy with the James Webb Space Telescope. We've seen Hubble, Spitzer, and many others view the Tarantula Nebula. Now it's time for the latest. This nebula located in the southern portions of the galaxy is gorgeous even without the Miri and near cam on Webb, but now finer detail than we've seen here before vast remnants of a past explosion. Up next, we're looking at cosmological physics with an excellent hypothesis on why they can't find dark matter. It's not there. What's their explanation? Polarization, and how it can give the appearance and create the gravitational appearance of a dark matter halo. But it comes up in second place, however, in this field today, as one of dark matter's foundational pieces of evidence goes out the window with a bit more than just a hypothesis. The gamma ray excess, turns out to be easily pegged with the latest technology and its millisecond pulsars, not dark matter. This was once considered a smoking gun for dark matter, and that's a big oops. Lastly, folks, channeling seismic science from Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, the work on pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals continues getting better. Now, they not only notice the anomalies, but they work a model around them, one that has 78% accuracy during warning periods, with no false positives. That is pretty impressive. We greatly appreciate your support. As always, you can find video playlists and more to supplement your knowledge below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.